So you've asked for a real review of Trend Mystery, and that was what I'm about to give you here. Uh, it took me longer to get started because I had to redo my MT4. Um, had some issues. Doesn't matter. We've got Trend Mystery here. We have it installed, and let's do what we always do. We'll quickly go through some rules. We'll look at it on a chart for a quick overview, and then uh, we'll just move forward later on with some uh, more videos covering various currency pairs and as always this is a real review okay this is not the sales page this is the actual trading strategy unlike a lot of the other ones you're going to be seeing okay so let's just get started looking at some of the rules that we're going to have to know before we uh, approach any trading strategy rules are the lifeblood of any trading strategy so first thing what we have here uh when you do get the software get the user guide which we're looking at right now they're going to explain the indicator in detail you're going to get the indicator itself obviously to put on your chart screenshots to help you understand how things work and if you have any problems uh, head over to uh, the email address for Carl and he'll certainly help you out we're going to start here it's extremely important for you to fully understand how trend mystery works and that's vital because a lot of people just jump on a strategy without having any clue of what to do so rules like I said are extremely important and please practice using on a demo account first I can't um, stress that enough absolutely if you're applying real money right now and you lose and you start sending emails that it doesn't work that's on you okay so when you do get the product, you're going to have to register it online, which is really good because there's too many people out there hit and run. You know, they, they buy the strategy, keep it, return it, and they still get to use it. That's just not right. That's uh, not the kind of people that I, I know personally as traders. Probably uh, traders are the most honest people I've ever met. So just make sure that you uh, register your account and uh, as you see, you'll get it successfully activated. The installation is no different than any other MT4. Uh, the data folder, you put your indicators both in the indicator and the DLL file into the libraries folder. All right, let's get right to the rules. Uh, don't use it on a flat market. Uh, absolutely, you do not want to trade any trading strategy unless you're trading a range bound strategy, which is basically hit and miss anyhow, on a flat market. All right. Now it does say London session, U.S. session. Be careful with that because what happens uh, if you're trading the daily chart, for example? Well, you're not going to know till end of uh, end of session, right? So use some judgment when you're looking at that. But the bottom line is, do not trade a flat market. When markets are not making lower lower lows and lower lower lows and lower highs for a downtrend or higher highs, higher lows for an uptrend. Stay out for a little while. The global trend, remember, trend is your friend. Ignore all signals against the current global trend. Obviously, you know, if you are shorting a market, you want to make sure the trend is in your favor. You know, the proverbial wind at your back. You know, trying to catch tops and bottoms is a huge mistake. And to be quite frank with you, uh, I don't personally don't know any trader that's done well doing that. They say they will. Uh, but I've and I've met a lot of traders. I've talked to a ton of traders and traders that I know. Uh, that's how they do it. Trend with the trend. You know, watch the news. Again, just be very careful with this as well. Again, if you're playing a daily chart, uh, what happens at 10 o'clock doesn't really matter to you, right? Because you are trading the daily chart. Just be careful with something like Brexit. Um, that can cause the markets to go wild and huge spikes so be very careful with that uh, and you can get spikes against the trend as well when you get these these kind of releases um, and news like brexits so uh just be very careful with that and it's true there is but it's when there's no news or anything that's important absolutely because what happens is you get into a trade and you think you're going short the news release comes out you get spiked out of your trade as the market flies higher and then what happens we've all had it happen to us right market turns around and does what it goes in the direction that we were trading in all right so just be careful with that uh the informer very important here uh, that's what you're going to see over here on the right i don't know if you can really see it let me just move something over here let me just get this here there we go that's better so here we have uh, the informer, and this is what you see over here on the left on the chart, uh, trend mystery, the trading style, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, 
last signal was a buy, you got confirmation. And you remember in my first video, I talked about there's confirmations, uh, which will allow you to be in more high probability trades than you would just taking the, um, like the first confirmation. All right, so this just tells you I'm more time before the next candle shows up. And this time is set to a different one. Like I said, I had to reinstall my, my MetaTrader. It's not this time here. I'm in the Eastern time zone, so it's 10, 19 in the morning on Friday. Okay. Uh, the stop loss, option one is recommended. Use the exact stop loss value shown in all types of the alerts. And we talked about the alerts. Uh, you get pop-up alerts on your screen. You get them sent to your email, which is probably one of the best. Um, getting emails sent to you with, hey, there's a trade setting up, be on alert. Option two, a lot of traders usually calculate stop loss with this formula, the previous bar high or low, plus an extra number of pips. I'm going to help you out with that one a little bit uh, just to help you with that. One of the best ways that I have ever found, if you're going to use something on like option two, the extra number of pips and previous bar high. And this is fine, but what what is the extra number of pips, right? That's who knows. One of the best ways to do it is use the ATR values, ATR of a 14, and you can either use uh, one times ATR for your stop, one and a half times ATR. I like ATR, the volatility stops. Probably that, that's all I use personally in my own trading is volatility stops. I want to, when the market's moving, I want my stop further, further from price. When the market's going slow, now that's when you can really find yourself sucked into uh, spikes up and down in price. So I use the ATR. That's just what I personally do. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Set your stop loss. Okay. Entering trades. You buy when a yellow arrow appears in the oscillator window as shown on the screenshot. You can see it right here. You can see that right here. And if we just look at the real chart, uh, we can see one right here. And this is a trade uh, happened at the end of October, just at the end of October, right in here. All right, you sell when a red arrow appears in the oscillator window, and that's down here. And you can see one tucked over in this corner here. Let's see if I can move this out here. You see these over here, sell, sell, okay? This actually, we'll talk about this later. Uh, it's a no-brainer. You can't make a mistake. You can see it in the oscillator window. You can see it right here. Okay, so very easy to trade that way. I'm a big fan of when these kind of strategies with having things printed right on the screen, simply because it's it's very difficult to make any sort of mistakes when that happens. Uh, so good on Carl for continuing that. Exiting trades, option one, exit trades when the opposite signal appears. For example, when a yellow arrow appears, close your sell order. When a red one appears, you close your buy order. Yeah, it makes sense. If... Um, if you're in this long trade here, I don't want to make this window too small here, but let's just go for short. Let's say you short it way up here. Okay, market comes down, you're in profit, and then you get this. Well, this is an opposing signal, so get out of the market, right? Does this mean you take this trade? I want to talk about something here. We just talked about it in the rules. Global trend, all right? So we don't know what the global trend is here. Um, you have to find your own way of deciding that is what that is. Just... If our global trend is down, we don't take that trade. And whatever you're using to determine trends, some people use a moving average, some people just use price action, higher high, higher low. And that would tell you right here, we got a low, we have a higher low here. So this trade would be valid if you are just using a pure price pattern as your trend determination. Why not, right? It works out well. You know, you, you're not making any mistakes when you do that. If a market can't make a lower low than this, well, there's that it's not as weak as it was. Right, the opposing currency pair is stronger. We break above the high right here, as you can see. Uh, that's a good trade, right? Because what happens when we break above this high right here? We put in a higher high. So this is a beautiful setup. Use the exact take profit values that are shown in all types of signal alerts. Option three, another exit mechanism, which is highly effective, is to exit near strong support or resistance level. It's a method that generates exits earlier, so you take your profits earlier good method if you want to trade. Now, here's the thing about support and resistance. Uh, I can turn off all the candles on my chart and I can put up a whole bunch of horizontal lines. Maybe I'll just put up five and I can guarantee you when I turn the price back on, I'm going to have price bouncing off of these, uh, these lines that I just put up there randomly. If you're going to consider doing something like that, I would just make sure that the only thing I'm looking at is um, these, right? Obvious levels, these, all right? This is all obvious stuff. Okay, I would not be looking at stuff like this. Okay. 
There we go. This is probably one of the best part of this strategy, I think. Our system, whatever, whatever you want to call it. The trend mystery can confirm your signals. Awesome. Um, let's take a look. When the signal is in the first section, it has no confirmation. So no confirmation levels have been passed. All right, so well, let's take a look. One, two, three. See these horizontal lines? This is the first section, and that's down here, right? Oh, sorry, we're going down here. This is the first level on a downtrend, as you can see over here. First level here. Second, third. That's a good one, right? There's how the section numbering goes for buy and sell. We talked about that. You'll get this in your PDF. The bigger the number, the stronger the price momentum. This is one, right? Well, you can see this is actually pretty good because we had a retrace here as soon as it's set up. So this is not really strong, right? It looks strong here, but then we rallied right away. So the momentum to the downside quickly disappeared. And then we just dropped, right? Right around here. So remember, these are indicators, so it's going to need the previous price points. All right, you didn't see this drop right from here right to here. We're going to have to rally up a little bit. And you can see that in this rally, we're talking about momentum, right? Even though we're rallying up, are these strong candles? Absolutely not. So the momentum is still to the downside. And you see this reversal candle right there uh, before we get this. So again, we're talking about momentum. This is weak momentum on the upswing here. Decent trade. Two great tips on how to use this, okay? Enter your trades when the signals are in section two or in section three. This will allow you to skip weak flat, mark, weak flat markets. Ah, yeah, enter when the market momentum builds up. Sure, you can do that. Don't enter here. Once this line breaks through here, you look to enter, all right? As you remember, the bigger the section number, the stronger the momentum. Enter once there's good momentum, we have a higher chance to win. If you're in a trade, don't exit until an opposite signal reaches a second or third section. Why do you think that, or appears there right away? Why do you think that is? Well, let's think about it for a second. If I'm in a uptrend and the trade's going up and all of a sudden I get the reversal of the indicator and it doesn't get past this level here, why would I want to be out? This could just be a minor pullback right so keep that in mind as well and you know you just can't slap this stuff on your chart and just start grabbing the signals left and right you have to understand the rules and that's why carl sends over the pdfs with it uh because you certainly need to know and you can see right here and how you're going to buy we open a buy when the signal reached the third section as per tip number one thus skipping the weak flat market we close a trade as a sell signal because it appeared in the second right away as per tip number two tip one what was it when the market's moving don't take it here as it starts to move up then you take your trade and they took it right here right works out well and it didn't sit around that slop example two uh, we entered a buy trade as soon as the signal was generated because it appeared in the section sex second section right away which is um where are we here right here right just went from yellow boom right to there what does that tell you momentum where's momentum going to the downside do you want to sit around and not make take that trade probably not the following sell signal however did reach section two so this is where we finally close the trade all righty time frames 15.30, so this is not a scalping strategy. You know, 15 minutes is not really scalping. Um, I'm not a big fan of scalping personally, but, you know, some people do it. I don't know how successful they are. There is an assistant assistant as well. Enter trades with one click. Make more profit from every trade. Auto enter upon one or two confirmations. See, this is once you understand this strategy and you find it has an edge for you and how you're trading it, um, you could certainly consider this once these... Like right here, you wouldn't be in the trade. Once it rips down here, you're in this short trade. And yeah, you get a little bit of heat. Well, let's take a look. Right there, right? You get a little bit of heat, but um, that's for trading. So you have to accept that. Input parameters. I wouldn't change too much. You don't have to change anything exactly. Just leave it. Keep it simple. Trading style, medium. And what's kind of cool is he does give you different options, conservative uh, safety rather than the speed of signals, medium, which is this one, 
uh, combination of both. And that you know what? That's where I would stick. There's no need to start trying to find the perfect setting because there really isn't one. Um, we can move the informer around. Colors, we already know that. Alerts, right? By default, the value is set to buy, sell only, which means the alerts are generated upon new signals. Um, take profits. Well, there you go. These are what you'd get in the alert. All right, so this chart here, I have a four-hour chart. So you are looking at stop loss on high set to 50 by default. It's going to look like it says 500. <laughs> You're not going to use a 400, a, yeah, 500 pip stop loss on a, a four-hour chart. And if you did, <laughs> you're like position, position sizing of nothing. And we're looking at uh, two to one. You know, that's basically, basically what we're looking at. And I know there are people saying, well, two to one, that's great. Believe it or not, you can actually make money with a one-to-one -one trading strategy, just so you know. Um, and obviously, uh, win rate is dependent on that and how you manage your trades. But uh, yeah, you certainly can do that, regardless of what people will tell you. All right, so we've taken a look at that. Let's just take a look. Uh, no more rules. Well, here's the uh, alerts. Let's just get right to it. That's what you're here for. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the chart. Quite simple, right? And this trade here, we'd look at a few of these. All right, I don't want to keep this video too long. We're probably already getting getting up there. Um, so, so far with the rules, all make sense. They all follow pretty um, rule of thumb trading trading uh, rules, which, you know, if, you don't, if you're not using it, then, you know, I can't help you. No one can. Um, so let's take a look what we have here. We've got this move over here. Well, you know, since I see it, I don't want to... If I keep scrolling, let's just start here. If I keep scrolling, we, we're going to be here forever. So we've got a, a down move here. Now this trade here, people are going, well, look, it got, that was nothing there. Exactly, but where are we? We're not, we're in level one. We want to be here or here for this trade. So we didn't even bother with this trade. Already I'm impressed. We have this move here as a down move. We don't take it here. We don't take it until we get here. All right, so we're not in it. We're not in it, not in it, not in it. There we go. So we're going to enter here, and we're going to get a little bit of feed, um, take back here. And this is a four-hour chart. Now, if we go back to what our stop loss is, uh, manually configure 50. Well, remember what I talked about ATR, right? So let's just keep that in mind. So this would have been a, a trade that you would have, got in on the close, you probably would have got stopped out on this trade because you're only looking at 50 pips. Uh, but again, I'm also looking at the pound yen. That thing is a beast at times. I know a lot of people would like to trade Euro, US dollar. I'm not really a fan of the US dollar crosses, to be quite honest with you. I've done much, much better trading uh, stuff like the pound Aussie, the pound yen, the Euro yen. I don't really go to the US pairs too too often. Anyways, so become a, a retrace back up. Now, this is where you're going to have to decide how you're going to re-enter the trade, all right? I didn't see anything in here talking about a re-entry, and I might have missed it, but I don't think I did, no. So, let's think about a re-entry type of strategy when you're looking at this, okay? Because this move is a great move down, right? Even though you got stopped out, right? You got stopped out because it's only 50 pips stop loss. You got stopped out here. Right, just going by def the default settings, I got stopped out here. I would have needed at least 143 pips stop. Okay, so let's take a look what the ATR setting would be. So when we look here, uh, put the ATR, this is the 14 period ATR on the close of this candlestick. The ATR is 55. Decide what you're going to do. Two times ATR would give you 110. But 110 saved you. No, it wouldn't have saved you. So you would have still taken a hit. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if we're looking at a 50 pip stop loss or the ATR stop loss. It doesn't matter because your position sizing is going to be based on that anyhow. You know, 1% of your account or 2%, whatever you're trading, is still 2% of your account. All right. So that trade uh, is not something that uh, would have worked out, period. Okay. No matter where we looked. So again, like I said, how are you going to re-enter these kind of trades? Because this trade just falls 
to profit, right? So one thing you can think of if we're looking for a downturn, we're just going to assume the overall global trend is down, uh, a pullback, which is standard into this congestion here, and a short. Okay, let's look at this one here. We don't take it, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. We can take it here. Well, this trade actually goes up for 393 pips, and you certainly would have made your 100 pips on this trade, which if you're just using uh, the 50 pip and the 100 pip, you basically wiped out this losing trade of 50 pips, and we're just going to stick with that. Okay, it's just easier. I don't want to go start changing everything around. You know, let's just keep this um, just based on this strategy alone. So we get to come in this trade. So what do we do? We did really well, right? Uh, and if you wait it for this to come around, and it's still there, you know, you're, it's not as good as just going for your take profit. Or it is actually a little bit better. Let's take a look. So you'd get in here and you'd get out here, right? So let's just do this. So no, you would have done better just taking your uh, fixed profit. Not bad. So let's let's just do that. All right. Um, we're obviously moving down here. If I, have, if I go here, this is like a pullback, right? But these are momentum candles. So I'm going to be considering this as going short. Uh, not short, not short. We go short here. And then uh, we get as high as, what, 87. Then we come back and price gets taken out. Again, it's just whatever you're going to determine as your global trend. We do not want to be um, whipping back and forth. And quite frankly, you probably would not take this trade. And I'm just being straight up with you. And the reason why is we have this big run up of price. This is just a natural pullback. When would we consider another trade? In this area right here. Why? Because we're putting in a lower high than this. So, uh, yeah, I showed you this. But let's go back to the rules where it says trade in the direction of the global trend. Well, there's really no swing low that's been taken out. So this trade is a pullback of this move here. We can't confirm that we're looking at a um, down move until we start putting in a lower high. All right. So this trade doesn't even exist. So that's kind of cool. This trade here is an up move, which would fall in line with what we're doing here. But look where it is. It's level one. Right. So you're still up. You're 50 pips here. We get our down move here because we're looking to go short. And this is a trade just kind of plummets. And you actually get to your 100 uh, quite quickly. Um, as you can see there. So that looks pretty good. Let's just get out of this one. Let's look at something else here. So you can see, you know, I'm not, this is not a back test, right? I'm just showing you a few sample trades, see how it all works. It doesn't mean you're going to take any of these. Uh, depends what the trend is. Let's go up to the daily chart. See what that looks like. Ooh. It's pretty ugly. Let's go over here. Well, you can see that it would go on the daily chart. This is slop. This is just moving back and forth. What we're talking about trend. Where's the trend on this one? I'm just looking at sideways in my on my charting platform here as you would be too but let's say that we're doing the whole lower high lower low higher high higher low trend determination well this is a range you can see the range here blanked off you don't get into anything else but a range till we get over here but and actually this trade would actually do pretty decent because if we look at our range from this, from this, from over here, let me just draw something here. If we look at our range of price, just like that, right? We don't want to trade inside this slop. But when we start breaking down, look where this is. This is in our zones that we are interested in. These, ah, it's kind of put you on alert, right? That there's something going on. So you can get into this trade all the way through here and you do get up to wow 397 but remember this is a daily chart so what is the daily chart what she suggests that uh take profit 200 then you get your 200 pips there now you know why i'm a big fan of the higher time frames i've covered that in my other videos let's look at this this is where you get in the trade here there's absolutely no heat on this and this trade goes up for 300 pips so already in just these two trades and why did i look at this because put a low lower high higher low 
that is why I looked at this trade because price action was showing me we're about to st start a stair stepping pattern up. Doesn't matter, we don't know what's happening over here. This is all we see at this point is this, right? Go down here, wouldn't take this short. Why? Well, we haven't taken a low. So we're still looking for up moves. And this trade we don't get. And we're starting to get into some chop here. As you can see, we've got a high. This is basically a double bottom, double top. So this is something we would skip out on. Anyways, you know what? I, I could go through a whole bunch of charts, but I'm not going to in this video here. The point is to show you how simple this strategy is. Trading in the direction of the global trend, uh, massively important. You could even use a 200 period moving average if, if that's up your alley, right? You just have to make sure that you understand uh, it is lagging and there is no magic in a moving, uh, moving average, none at all. Just looking at price is not a bad thing to do. Looking for momentum candles, which way the momentum is going, um, that help you as well for trend. But overall, just by looking at the rules and looking at what we just looked at on the pound yen, which is a beast. And let's be honest, you know, you're not going to be looking at um, a, uh, you're not going to be looking at a, stop loss of 40 pips on the hourly chart of this for example uh on the pound yen because you're looking at 40 pips here but look at the euro us dollars so let's just do one little thing so before i let you go here just so you can understand what we're looking at uh we look at the average true range of a of a, of a market if i'm going to trade the pound yen okay you know my average true range today is 152 pips okay that's the range of price. So let's just take a look at the Euro US dollar, for example. All right, what's the range in price of the Euro US dollar? 83, 83 pips. Are you trying to tell me that I'm gonna use the exact same stop? I'm gonna use the exact same take profit? Absolutely not. They're two totally different things. Let's look at the pound US, if you're you know, looking at these kind of markets. 134, right? So just be very careful uh, when you're looking at this, you know, your stops and all that, it's going to be determined. This is 75 uh, pips on the uh, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Pound Aussie, which is actually one of my favorite ones, and uh, he, he didn't cover it as one of the suggested pairs, but uh, 182 pips. That's not bad, you know. And then you look at this guy, everyone's favorite pair, 83 pips, please. Look at a different market. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Uh, use ATR to decide which ones you want to use. That's going to help you determine what you're going to do in terms of stops and targets. You certainly are not going to use the same stop for the uh, uh, pound yen, for example, as you would with the euro US dollar, nor would you with take profits. Anyways, let's wrap it up. Click above, download it, give it a shot. So far, Carl, you did it again. Uh, I like this one. Simple. We can improve things a little bit with ATR if you want to look at stop loss and take profits with that um, as opposed to static stake, take profits and stop losses. But what it does in the rules, it gives you a baseline, something to start at. You have to have something to start at, right, I guess, help you out. The alerts, huge fan. And again, you know, I've talked about Carl's products a lot. And the reason I do is I find them very easy to use. Yeah, and well, look, Euro US dollar has a, uh, it's in a trade. Well, let, if people want to take a look at it, we can take a look at it. Took out this low, right? So we're in a short trade here, and price has gone 247 pips. So if you're looking, and we talked about, before I let you go, how we can re-enter, you just don't want to get slopped around. Right, so maybe you take a few of these. So let's say uh, you got into this and it pulls back and stops you out for whatever reason. Um, you could trail your your um, buy stop order up below these to get triggered in uh, using momentum. You can do that as well. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I'll get you another video out soon.